Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam and welcome back to another FPV flight tutorial video. In this video, we're going to talk about slow rolls and flips and half rolls and flips and kind of controlling those two and mixing them up. So let's get started. Again, we're in liftoff, we're at the same level and same quadcopter as we have been in this entire series. So that way we can gain familiar familiarity with the level and the same flight controls and all that sort of stuff. So let's talk about um, slow rolls and flips. So instead of doing just a full roll, which that isn't even like that fast of a roll, um, which, I mean, this is a good practice to practice doing a full roll and coming back to level. Another really great thing to practice in addition to full rolls and flips is half rolls or half flips and half yawing and combinations thereof. So for example, instead of just doing a full roll and then coming back to center, which is good practice, doing a half roll and just kind of holding that and just seeing what that looks like and getting used to that and then you know, leveling back out or maybe doing a half roll and then like a yaw, like a quarter yaw spin to get you pointing back down. Or maybe let's say like a half flip. Well, so, you know, you're upside down and then you roll, do a half roll to level yourself back out. And the reason why that's so important is because there are actually a lot of times when you're flying around and a lot of tricks that you want to do that involve those movements. So it's not just a full roll, it's like a half roll and maybe a half pitch and then a half yaw, something like that. In addition to the actual amount of number of degrees that you roll or pitch or whatever, like I guess this would be a quarter roll and this would be a half roll and then a three quarters roll and then a full roll, is actually how fast you do them because that, that is what can make a trick look really impressive compared to just kind of mediocre or just disorienting. So we're up nice and high, we have some altitude, we can give it some throttle and then we take the throttle out and we do a really slow roll. And just practicing that because I think the you know instinctively you kind of want to like do a really fast roll and then kind of level yourself out because you feel like you're going to hit the ground too fast but in the simulator that doesn't matter so you can go as slowly as you want until you hit the ground and just so you can you can kind of um, build up an idea of how fast you need to roll before you actually hit the ground and so when you do these really slow rolls that can look way better when you're doing a trick. So again, also with the uh, with the pitching, doing a roll like that. And notice here, notice what I'm doing. Um, again, we're we're in acro mode. You've probably flown a lot in acro as we've been doing that throughout this series. But notice that when we when we move slowly, we just we move the stick. Look at the little box at the bottom of the screen and we're just moving the stick that much and we're holding it in that position. Okay, let me reset here. So, cause again, if we, um, if we move the stick that much and let it go, then we're just gonna maintain that position all the way into the dirt. But what we actually want is to do a nice slow roll so we can move it that much and hold it and we could even increase it varying amounts to kind of give it like a slowing down, speeding up look, which will look good in some tricks that we're gonna learn in this series. So we can do it like a little bit and then faster and then slow it back down um, just by varying the amount that we move the stick. Another popular thing, we'll kind of, we'll do more of this later, but the, the old inverted yaw spin, which would be you roll uh, halfway and then you do a yaw spin and then you come back out of it like that. So that's something that um, you, where you'd want to practice just doing a half roll and then a yaw spin and then rolling back the other way. So instead of just like, just, just kind of doing that. Cause that honestly, that by itself is not that impressive. Also one more thing, we're gonna get into this really more if when we have more camera angle, more tilt. So our quadcopter will be more tilted, but say we're looking at the horizon and if we just roll, the horizon kind of moves, like it, it kind of, it kind of changes position. So we want to use, uh, we want to use roll and yaw 
to, to make the horizon stay in the same position. And the amount of roll and yaw that you use is going to vary depending on the rate for the roll and the yaw. Let's try and keep the horizon like in the middle of the screen, in the middle of our, our, our camera. And so we want to do a little bit of each, and it just takes practice to get the right amount of, of, of roll and yaw. And that will give us that kind of classic, like, airplane looking kind of roll. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. If you found this helpful, let me know. If you still have questions about this type of thing, leave me a comment. Maybe I or someone else will be able to help you. I appreciate you guys. And I will see you again very soon in the next flight tutorial video.